service sector okay when we see the gross value got state value added gross state value added i told you that top sector is service sector second is the secondary sector that is industries third is agriculture now the service sector contribution to gsva that is gross state value added is 61.33 percentage 61.33 percentage 61.33 percentage 61.33 percentage when you see the cumulative growth rates when you see the cumulative growth rates from the 2014 to till 2022 to till 2022 okay it is having a growth rate cumulative of 12 percentage 12.13 percentage 12.13 percentage 12.13 percentage which is 2.3 percentage higher than govern india's growth rate higher than india's growth higher than india's growth rate so every year it is increasing by 12.13 percentage the growth rate in the service sector every year it is increasing by 12.13 percentage at present the gva gsva share of service sector is 61.33 percentage 61.33 percentage that means it is almost all more than 50 percentage 61 percentage of the share yeah year on year when we see the growth rate average between 2014 to 2022 it is increasing by 12.13 percentage every year 12.13 percentage every year and this 12.13 percentage every year average is 2.3 higher 2.3 percentage higher than india's average growth rate india's average growth rate so there may be the question what is the average growth rate of telangana when compared to india then it would be 2.3 percentage 2.3 percentage okay and india is having average growth rate higher sorry telangana is having average growth rate in the service sector higher than india higher than india so they may ask it is higher or lower then th that must be point if not they will be asking which of the following statement is true gsva first point service sector okay next it is having a uh, cagr growth rate they will not mention they may not mention the percentage but they will be mentioning that when we see the cagr cumul uh, like cumulative growth rates from 2014 it is increasing it is increasing we will be shedding it at a point that it is decreasing at a point during covid 19 during covid 19 will be at a point all the sectors were decreased but here how there is because here it did not decrease the only two sectors which were not totally affected due to covid 19 situation is primary and the tertiary service sector now only thing that is affected in the service sector was communicable communicable services communicable services the saloon shops the theaters okay those were affected the parks the amusement parks okay the uh, shopping malls these were affected okay but other non communicable services they did not got any effect they did not got any effect for example when we see the ott platforms they have generated triple generation they generated triple income in the covid 19 situation suppose if there is a loss in this also that was satisfied but that okay so the communicable services were into losses but not other services so that's the reason why when you see the other services like utility services gas cylinders okay the water water uh, water connections the uh, electricity there is no droppings in that revenues because it did not stopped working those are continued so in the service sector communicable was affected but not the non communicable so that's why there is a continuous growth rate of almost all the cagr is 12.3 percentage when we start accounting from 2014 to 2022 okay so it is 2.3 percentage higher than then the start statement will be the third statement could be india's sorry telangana software or like tertiary sector growth rate is less than india's growth rate then it is wrong answer then it is wrong answer because it is high cumulative aggregates aggregate growth rates aggregate growth rates aggregate growth rates that means they will be averaging the growth rate in the 5 years it does not mean actually 5 years it can be how many years they want they can take 10 years they can take 20 years their wish but here we took it as cagr from 2014 to 22 now the reason is the formation of state of telangana it's fine 
but still it depends upon the government like see whenever we see government of india whenever it is accounting something they account it for previous five years for example in the macro economic framework uh, i guess you all know regarding frbm act fiscal responsibility so after implementing after implementing gst and the gst network was successful because it has also got all different partners and it was successful in implementation they thought that if gst is not implemented properly then we let's see but gst was successfully implemented and they got to know that people of india has also got digital literacy that means they can go through online they can go through the payments etc etc so that's why they thought that unified payment interface can be successful in india by connecting all the banks not separate separately by connecting all the banks so it was successful that's the reason why for a private company government gave that much burden for a private investment they gave that much feasibility because it is profit now if it is in the hands of government again it will be in a different way okay when you see b map bharat interface for money no it is not at that time see they utilize the technology of upi into that it is first government app b map which is bharat interface for money which is utilizing upi but that was not successful because of the, the interface which is present okay. and it was it was the interface which is established by the government it is not sophisticated but whereas other when google started to participate example the google was not actually google it is tez app where it was purchased by google and it was converted into google pay then google pay was successful then came the other apps but whatever may be the apps the only software which they utilize is upi unified payments interface so it was successful so with that there are many advantages which we we all know the advantages are simple every account will be maintained every transaction will be accounted okay according to the upi and the government and the banks the upi should maintain the upi should maintain the details of at least a three year transactions you can go into the upi apps and you can get the three year transactions bank should compulsory maintain the transactions for lifetime they have a rule that they should be maintaining for three years at least three years compulsory they should maintain it now you can go through the transactions also without going to the bank so that's the reasons they want to make this as friendly in nature okay so e governance things we need to study compulsorily from the current affairs compulsory from the current affairs now what is the resource for current affairs for e governance telangana government website all the news press releases read it ict that is uh, in the municipal that's why i told you ktr departments that's why i told you ktr departments it comes under ktr department the company comes under that whereas e governance comes under the municipal administrations revenue administrations district administration there will be this e governance schemes that's why i told you it is under the ktr departments because it's not only under one department it is under multiple departments okay when you see the dharani portal okay it is under the ministry of it and communications that is obviously it's not under the ministry of agriculture it's not under the ministry of agriculture okay the agriculture ministry only what it does is it will be framing the programs and schemes for the agriculture but it will not collect any revenue it will not collect any revenue registrations does not come under agriculture sector so dharani portal is not under the agriculture ministry whereas the administration comes under the revenue department of finance revenue department of finance ministry so one of the initiative which is taken by the government in the service sector for diversifying the service sector role in the telangana that is great this is the last thing in the service sector initiatives which is very important for the uh, improvement of service sector in telangana great now what is grid is growth in dispersion so what what they do in the grid policies they will be providing special incentives for the companies for diverting and expanding their companies for diverting and expanding their companies for different scz's they provide incentives for diverting and expanding the companies for different scz's for different scz's now let's assume TCS is present in Hyderabad. TCS is present in Hyderabad. Let's take it is present in high tech city. Okay, 
but the operations of TCS in high tech city is limited because of space etc etc. Now if it shifts its operations to other areas then the Hyderabad other areas then the Hyderabad then what happens is only Hyderabad district will not grow other area will be grown other area growth will be present other area can get employment other areas or other districts can increase their income so IT will not be present only in one place 